Hello everyone, it's Abby. In today's video, I'm going to be trying to find a birthday dress. No pressure. Now I'm looking for something that's quite stunning. Obviously it's a birthday dress, you want to look stunning on your birthday. So I'm looking for something that's like stunningly beautiful, but that's different. I put loads of pressure on myself to find like this amazing birthday dress. I think a lot of people do as well. Like they want, they want to look stunning, they want to look beautiful, they want to look different, they want to stand out. So that's what kind of dress I'm going to be looking for today. I've ordered a lot of things. I think I've got a total of eight dresses to choose from. So fingers crossed I find something that is going to work for me. I've ordered from House of CB ASOS because obviously ASOS has their own designs but they've also got other brands as well so got some of those. The majority of them are from ASOS actually and I've got one from Misguided so I'm quite excited to get them out. I've not even opened them obviously because they've been from different places I've had to wait for them all to come together and be here at one time so it's been stressing me out a bit I literally ordered one yesterday got it here with next day delivery so I'm really excited to see what they're like so yeah I'm just gonna open them all up and we'll get to it so first up I've just opened ooh, you can hear something <laughs> a little hint of what it is I've opened up the misguided one first because that one's just a solo one. This is from their Peace and Love collection which is sort of like their premium range. Um, it's a bit more expensive than the rest of their stuff but hopefully it shows in the quality. Now, even the tag comes in a plastic wallet. So it's this navy dress. What I really liked about it was the fact that it was like asymmetric and the fact that this shoulder sleeve is thick and this one's like a chain type thing um, and if you can see the chain does have, it's all gold but it's got like a diamondy one to stand out I guess feels like metal but it feels like it feels a bit like metally plastic but I guess you don't really want a heavy thick metal chain draping on your arm so that's the top bit it's got a lot of drapery going on which I thought was really pretty I thought it looked really elegant and then it sort of goes down into again more drapery along the front but also what's kind of the tags kind of hiding it is the fact that this is a cutout so from your chest to maybe about your hip it's cut out so you're gonna have a bit of not stomach out you're gonna have a bit of side stomach out and then it's got a little um belt here which is diamond as well which sort of matches the chain up here at the back it's fitted so it's sort of draping at the front but i think I think it's a sort of fitted dress and then they've got the drape going on on top on the front. I just like the little the little extra details like the diamonds on here and on the chain. I think that's really nice. And this was £80. So I definitely don't think it's massively expensive for a special occasion dress. Um, especially not if it's going to look stunning. Can't wait to try that one on actually. Right, so I'll put my hair up so that we can see all aspects of the dress because if my hair was down we would have a problem and it would just get on my nerves as well so I've tied it up sorry if it's an actual mess but here is the first dress and I quite like it you know there's just like something about it that makes me feel like really like grown up and like like sexy but in a grown up nothing's really out in your face but you still look sexy. I love this. I love what's going on up here. I think it's super cute. Like I think it's so different. And then it goes all the way to the back like this. If you can see. And obviously here's the cutout bit which I'm quite enjoying. I'm quite like I think if that wasn't there like it would potentially look a bit boring. And the draping is nice but obviously as you can see it's like it's like a tight um, bodycon skirt dress thing and then they've just put the flap 
of draping over, which is fine because to be fair, I can't really tell. This little buckle is cute, I like that. It's sparkling a little bit. This is it all the way from the back. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it for a birthday. Sorry, there's just a mirror there, so I'm checking it out. All I would say is that the under dress is, is fitting perfectly, but obviously, as you can see, this draping is sort of bagging a bit. Like, I wish that this was, like, as tight as the dress is because the draping bit is dropping, drooping, to where you can see the underdress bit, which you kind of want to keep that illusion that this is all just drape. And this bit, I think, I think I'd be able to move in it. I think I'd be fine. I feel really secure in it anyway. I think it's really nice. So we're off to a good start, I think. So moving on to the ASOS section. Right, so gonna begin with this one right here. This is from a brand or designer called John Zack. It's this sort of v-neck plunge white dress. It's sort of got a lace effect going on all over it. Um, the sleeves are sheer, so they've got almost like a puff, a very subtle puff, I think, on the shoulder. And then they go down, and then I love this effect right here. So it's sort of gathered in at your wrist. I think that's stunning. And then the bottom of it goes down. It's tight. And then it goes into a little peplum like this. And I think you can't go wrong with a simple white dress. I know it's not simple, but like it's simple in the fact that it's just plain white. It's got nothing else going on. But the detailing in the lace, the sleeves, the patterning, the peplum at the bottom. I think it's quite stunning. This was £58. And I got this in an eight. With a tan, oh, I just think, ooh, don't get my on it. <laughs> Next, we've got this beautiful number. Like, this is, this is gorgeous. I love this. However, the only thing that is worrying me is the chest area. I would definitely need some tip tape, body tape, some kind of tape to hold myself in here because... I would just need it. It's too dangerous. I'm gonna have to keep holding it because I really don't want my nipple to pop out. I love these sleeves. They're gorgeous. I love the little puff here. Stunning. Love these little cuffs around the wrists. I think that's gorgeous. I think it's just a lovely little addition to it. And then the peplum as well is just, oh, the peplum as well is just stunning. This is what it looks like from the back. I think it's gorgeous, I really do. I just wish that the girls would stay in. <laughs> if you're dancing, you're moving your arms around a lot, I just, I just, I don't think I could risk it. But maybe for a different event, this would work somewhere where you're not really gonna be moving that much. But I absolutely love this. I think it's gorgeous, why boobies? <laughs> How stunning is that as a top? Like, oh, it's just, it's just stunning. Like, I feel like, I feel like a princess with a boobs out. <laughs> Either way, I still really like it. Come on, it's pretty gorgeous. I'm getting, like, wedding vibes, like, wearing this on my, like, I don't know, hen party or something. Like, the bride, have a little sash on, have a tiara, have a, what do you call them? Veil, have a veil on. This would be cute. Next. Another John Zack one. What's a birthday dress without a little bit of glitter? Or a lot? Woo! It's so glittery, it's so glittery. Right, so this is a gold sequin dress. Again, it's got sort of a plunging neckline with a long sleeve, which just gathers in right at the end. And then it sort of goes down into this sort of rah-rah skirt. Um, but it has got a belt as well. I couldn't have done this video without a full-on sparkle glitter sequin dress. And just the way that this sparkles is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm really excited. And I got this one in a six because there was no eight available. So hopefully it's not going to be too little on the boobies because that is where I struggle. 
and this was 65 pounds but yeah a little glittery number can't go wrong can you Right, so we've definitely got the glitter ticked on this one. Do I look like a Christmas barber? Perhaps. But yeah, this is this is this little number. That's what it looks like from the back. I'm not as keen on this one as I have been on some of the others. But like, it's cute. Like, I like, I, I do like the glitter. I like the fact that it is sparkly. And I like the fact that like, if I was wearing it, everybody you would probably notice a person in a sparkly dress. I like it, but I don't love it. And that is key when you're picking something. If you're not like, wow, yeah, I love it. It's not the one. And I'm not sure about the belt. Like obviously they're trying to cover this seam with the belt, which I do think is necessary. Like I think that without the belt, it would probably look a bit unfinished, but it is really pretty. Could see this on Christmas and New Year. Easy. Like it's definitely, definitely cute for that. But it's not it's not really the type of vibe that I'm wanting to go for for my birthday. Because I feel like the only thing that's special about it is the glitter, is the sequins. Because it's just a pretty simple shape. You've probably seen the shape of dress a lot of times. But it is still really nice. It's a nice dress. That's it. It's a nice dress, it's just not a wow dress. It's pretty in the fact that it's sparkly, but that's about it really. I just feel like it looks a bit, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say cheap, but it feels a bit like it, it feels like it looks cheap. But I still do like it. This is so heavy. That makes me so excited because it makes me think, it's good quality. So this is what I've got. This is actually, um, I think it's ASOS design. And oh my God, this is stunning. I, I got so excited when I saw this. Oh my God, it's stunning. Right, so this is it. It is a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like the black balances the extraness out. So it's this sort of black blazer dress, obviously with a lot of embellishments on the sleeves. It goes down into a sort of bodycon style skirt, just with a little button here. So like a tuxedo blazer, it just has a little button. And then on the back, which makes it even more unbelievably beautiful and just so different. Like I just love how different this is. So it's got the tassels which go all the way down, but it has a cutout in the back, so you can't really see it very much there because obviously all the tassels are in the way. Ooh. Um, <laughs> so you've got sort of like the middle region of your back out, but with the tassels dangling down over it. I love this. I love the fact that it's so heavy as well. You just know like when something's heavy that it's just good quality, don't you? But can you just see that detailing on the shoulders, like, isn't that just amazing? I'm so excited for this! And this was like, if, if you could feel it, you would think this would be way more expensive than it is, but this was 75 pounds. So in that dress, I got a size eight. Right, okay, we've got this bad boy next. This is what it's like. It makes me want to shimmy all day and shimmy all night. This is the back. The back is stunning, I think. Like, look at that. Wow. I love the tassels. I think they are so cool. Is this dress too cool for me? Maybe. <laughs> it has got a lot going on, not gonna lie. Especially since it's like, blazer vibes with sort of like a cowboy fringe with a plique here, shoulders and back and a cutout and sort of like a slit blazer thing going on. It's a lot, but it's quite nice. If you're wanting to make a statement, this is definitely one for doing that. 
the only thing that's annoying me about it is this is flipping up but obviously this is flipping up because this is coming down here to go on a button it's got one button that snaps there and one button that snaps around about here to sort of meet up this with this like this side with this side i think the back is more stunning than the front i think the front uh, is potentially looking a bit confused with it being a blazer so i do really like it but again i'm just not sure if it's birthday dress it's definitely got the wows that's for sure but i'm just not sure if it's like birthday wows because like what i want to look like on my birthday is like an amalgamation of everything whereas i feel like this is looking a bit too like i think it's pretty but i don't think it's like pretty like that white dress is really pretty i think this is more like strong badass dress like i think i think it's beautiful but i think it's for a different occasion than a birthday i showed it to my mum and she was like what the heck is going on with that i was very confused i was like okay but i still do really like it and i feel like i want to say ombre next i've got something which I was also really really excited about when I saw it it is this this is also ASOS design and it's petite as well I'm not necessarily petite I think I'm bordering on from like where petite goes into normal but they didn't have this color in the normal size lengths whatever it is again this feels so heavy I feel a hard decision coming on <laughs> I've gone for a lot of long sleeves, like subconsciously. Like everything has been long sleeved. Didn't do that on purpose. However, my birthday is November, so it is pretty cold. So well done me. I'm proud of myself for thinking of the cold. But I've got this gorgeous grey dress. It's stunning. Again, it's got some glittering. It's got that little bit of special glitter embellishment going on it's got long sleeves and if you can see it has this sort of they're not feathers they're like if you can see they're like strands of string with sort of like frayed string on it so it, it looks like feathers but it's not feathers then it goes all the way down into a similar effect on the bottom of the dress it gives me like flapper vibes like Gatsby vibes. So yeah, this overlay is sort of embellished with sequins and jewels and beads and then it's mesh. So it's got a sort of grey bodycon little dress underneath. I don't know if you can see that little dress poking through. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm going to choose, you know. <sighs> this was £150. So... It is <clears throat> the most expensive one so far, but I think it's going to be stunning on, so yay. Okay, so this is the next one that we've got going on. I love it. My brother's just took this out of me saying that I look like an ice skater, but like I, I can get ice skating vibes from it, but it's just beautiful. This beading which is all over here is just absolutely gorgeous it's all over the dress as well it doesn't just come on the front and then stop at the back this is what the back looks like which is just gorgeous i love this kind of feathering which is not really feathers it's just like threading with frays and stuff but obviously it looks like feathers and it fits perfect and I think it's the perfect length as well. Petite, who knew? It just like fits like a dream. This is a birthday dress. It's special, it's unique. I just think all of this detailing is absolutely stunning. This is stunning, especially like on the bottom of the dress as well. I just think it fits perfect. It's a perfect style. Nothing's coming out, nothing's showing really all the thing all that's showing is your legs and that's the most comfortable thing like especially if you're on a night out like i can do this i can dance around i can go for a run and nothing's gonna be popping out 
which is great because who knows what I get up to on a night out. I don't even know what I get up to on a night out. I really, really like it. I think, I think it's a top contender if you ask me. Like this is what I mean by like, I want it to be everything in one. I feel like the feathers are a bit sexy as well. I don't know why. And I just feel like, I feel like I look like the amalgamation of everything that I want to look like on my birthday. Because like, you know, like you, you, you want to look back on your birthdays and be like, I still love that dress. Like it needs to be kind of like a timeless piece in my opinion, where you're never going to go, God, why did I wear that? Or Jesus, Abby, put them away. I don't want to be doing that when I'm eight years old in my rocking chair. I love it, it makes me feel special. I, th I think that's what I like about it, it makes me feel really special. And it makes me feel like a birthday girl. Next up we've got something that is really, really statement, you could say. It's very out there, it's definitely not gonna be to everybody's taste, but when you're as dramatic and over dramatic as me, what can I say? So, you can hear it. Let me just find the bloomin' head of it. Right, so are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is ASOS design as well. However, it is in sort of collaboration with Christian Cowan. I'm probably not gonna look as good as Nikita Dragon in this, but we can give it a go. So it's this high neck. It's not really high neck, it's just like a little a little cuff neck. Um, it's long sleeved and it's just like a bodycon mini dress type thing. And what I love about it, if you know me, you know I love a back out. And it's got the whole back out. Look at that. Stunning. As you can see, it's a sort of mesh dress with a lot of sort of dangling plastic bits in like a neon yellow and black so yes it's very different but i thought it was just really cool and it's definitely statement like i could see maybe like a sleek pony with this and it would just look like wow and that was 125 so not even the most expensive considering it's like an actual collaboration with a fashion designer so yeah so here's this one i've arrived you know what i actually like it i feel like i look like bumblebee incarnate in a person from transformers but like sexy bumblebee this is the piece of resistance look at that back i'm sorry but i love when a dress has the back out i think it's so sexy in the most subtle of ways you're not showing anything you're just showing your back but like i just love it it's 100 percent. it's a statement what i really like it like the front is a statement but then the back just makes it like it just makes it tip over into that Ooh, i think this could potentially be one of those pieces where in 50 years time when i'm 80 that's not good maths by the way that is not accurate maths when i'm 80 i could potentially be like what were you thinking? What were you doing? Why were you wearing that? But I also kind of think like when I'm 80, I'll think, yeah, I had some balls wearing that, you know. I was quite a stylish girl back in the day. It's the texture of the dress that is making it and it's the back as well. Like, I just love that. Look at that. That is stunning. It's definitely a statement and it's definitely in your face, but I love it. It's kind of painful if you prick yourself on the spikes, but Dangerous woman. Next we've got the two pieces that I've got from House of CB. Again, very dramatic, very much stunning in its structure. So it is this. Try and ignore the ribbon all the way down. It's just this stunning black dress, which has a bit, yeah, it's quite a low V, I'm not gonna lie. But from the V, it's got this gorgeous, like dramatic flouncing out effect which is just stunning so the flounce just sort of goes around here and around to the cut and then it just goes into a sort of bodycon mini dress with 
a sort of ruching going on. On the back it doesn't have the ruching, it doesn't have the flouncing, but it's enough on the front. Um, and if you can see it's sort of like a, it's not metallic, it's just sort of like a shiny fabric. But it feels amazing, it's thick, it's stunning, it's beautiful, very dramatic. I love it. Can't wait to try this. I've said that for every single dress. Can't wait to try this. Can't wait to try this. God, I'm annoying myself. And this was £139. So if you know House of CB, you know the prices. It's just what you got to pay for this stunningness. And now we have got this stunning number. It's absolutely stunning. I can't cope. What what more can I say about House of CB? Like, I swear every time I buy something, it's just like, do you want to get any more up their ass? But like, it's not even funny. Like, I swear everybody is up House of CB's ass because it's just incredible. I'm gobsmacked at how they do it, to be honest. Because look at this. This is like art. Is it not? absolutely the most stunning thing you've ever seen in your life. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. It's very, very dramatic. I guess with it being this dramatic, it would take quite a bit of balls to wear it. It's fitting me so nicely like a glove. I can't even describe to you. Like, I don't know whether this looks uncomfortable, but I feel so comfortable right now. Unlike the white dress that I've tried on earlier, which was a V, this feels so secure like i don't know whether this is for the boobs or what but this sort of thick lining around the v that's just like making me feel secure and supported in that area i think the fact that the fabric is a little bit shiny and glisteny is stunning i think that adds so much to it rather than it just being like a matte fabric and then obviously there's this ruching here, which they didn't have to do. They could have left that like this and they could have left this plain, but it just makes it even more special and extra special. I just love it. It's so dramatic and I love it. Could go on forever about it really. Next up, the last piece, this. Oh, I saw it and I just had to get it. Some terrible like that i'm so bad at restraint get the baby out ah oh. hmm. <laughs> so it is ah oh. you can see the dram is already there it's stunning so it's this off the shoulder dress so this this goes around here and you put your arms in these holes there's obviously a lot of drama going on around this area it goes all the way around to the back Obviously it's been in a box so I kind of need to fluff it out and puff it out a bit more. But it's this gorgeous ivory colour and it goes basically into a tight bodycon mini dress. It's got some panelling down the bodice which is just beautiful because really when you've got, when you've got this much going on up top you don't really need anything else going on. But for it not to be plain, for them to have put some sort of seams, boning is just really nice and I think it just makes it a little bit more special. It just feels like an absolute delight, it feels amazing, I want to get married in it. <laughs> no but seriously like you could, you could get married in this if you wanted to or like pre-marriage dinner, that thing, that thing what is it? You're like your rehearsal dinner. I know probably not a British people have a rehearsal dinner, but I only know that of friends. And I think this was 159. It's definitely got the drama, that's for sure. Okay, so this is the last dress of this video. And boys, it's stunning. Again. So dramatic. It's like not even it's not even funny how beautiful this is again it fits like a glove it fits so perfect up here 
they've definitely put some sort of boning, corsetry, magic, wizardry going on around here because I feel very secure, I feel very in. This is what the back looks like from the side. It's just stunning, isn't it? <sighs> Making life hard for myself, I really am. But you know what? I think it's far too beautiful for a night out. Well, one, you're kind of restricted in your arms, so I definitely wouldn't be doing any of this. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be filling the shopping trolley. Could probably... What's this one? Isn't this one? Or is that one? But I don't really think that this is supposed to be a dress where you're like moving and grooving about. I don't think this is what this dress is for. This dress is literally just, this is all I would do all night. Stand there and look beautiful, that's what this dress is for. Like I said before, you could get married in this. Imagine this, but like imagine it being long. So it didn't stop there, it kept on going and then it was just like a tr oh my god that would be a beautiful wedding dress. It's absolutely gorgeous. I really love it. I think it literally looks stunning. I love this colour. It's just beautiful. It's just gorgeous. It is, oh. And obviously this, there is a sort of pattern with the boning with the seams down here which just again adds to it makes it even more perfect. I literally don't know how I'm gonna choose, you know. I need some help. Somebody help me. This just makes me feel so regal and classy and beautiful. Right, so that's all the pieces done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe if you're going somewhere, you need a special dress, it's your birthday or even Christmas, New Year's, these would work really well, I think. Hope to see you in the next one and bye-bye.